Officials gathered to celebrate the start of long-awaited maintenance operations in the San Luis Rey River Channel in Oceanside. A chipper from core contractor Washburn Grove Management cut back the unchecked vegetation in a project officials said challenged the Corps' efforts to protect local communities. Why not a way where we can integrate the purpose of this project to provide flood risk management to the people and the communities that are along this river and still do the right thing and uh, do right by the environment? And I say, why not both? Physical construction of the project was completed in 2000, but vegetation in the channel developed into habitat designated as critical for the endangered least bells vireo. Project goals were combined to optimize flood risk management and minimize environmental impact. Congressman Darrell Issa said the project is a great success, uh, but a sign of how hard it has become to take care of the needs of people in a flood control district a lesson he intends to take back to Washington. If we're going to be good stewards of your dollars, projects like this that were brought to a close, finally, not only have to be brought to a close timely, the ones that are open, but we should never open projects without giving the Corps of Engineers the dollars up front to do it in a short enough period of time that they can be compliant with the original intent. It was a satisfying event for Oceanside Mayor Jim Wood, who said throughout intense negotiations, the city's main concern was the river's potential for flooding. Oceanside just wants to be a good team player and say, let's try to fix it. We're willing to compromise, understanding the changes in society and the environmental world. Working with the city and state and federal resource agencies, the Corps developed a plan of systematic management of vegetation and periodic sediment removal that minimizes impacts to the environment and leads to reduced flood risk. With continued maintenance clearing in the fall, officials hope to achieve a 100-year level of flow conveyance, which will pave the way for the city to request FEMA to relax flood insurance requirements. Jay Field, Oceanside, California.